Hey y'all, it's Danielle and you are watching Danielle's Denture Diaries. So with this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about a kind of an update again. I did do an appointment today for a soft reline um, and an adjustment. So as you can see, I am finally wearing my full set of fangs and it's because I finally got that side adjusted and there's no more pain. And I intentionally bit down as hard as I could to the point of where I would typically be experiencing pain and nothing. So we did manage to get that done today, super excited. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of me with my full set and then that way everyone can feel a little more encouraged and empowered to wear the entire set. Right now I am wearing my dentures with their soft reline and with adhesive so that's what we're working with right now. <laughs> um, I still do really like using the soft C-Bond wafers though so that hasn't changed. When I went into my dentist another thing that I brought up was my soft reline. I mentioned how long it had been since I got my first reline. I mentioned that my dentures were feeling just a little loose, not too terrible, they're still comfortable, and they obviously stay in place all day long. And my dentist asked me a few follow-up questions, just um, how long have you had your dentures now, and about you know when was your extraction date, and he was actually calculating when my hard reline would be due because with my insurance, and this is going to vary person to person, state to state, dentist to dentist, is with mine at six months, I have to have my hard reline for whatever reason that is just the criteria that my insurance company has set that they will cover it in the six month window, um, but it cannot be before then. It can be a little bit after, um, but otherwise that's what's needed. So anyways, um, when he had already looked at my bottom denture, we fit it in and he went to pull my top denture out because I walked into the office wearing my top but not my bottom because that for sure needed to be fixed. And I didn't know what else to expect, so he tried to pull it, and he literally like yanked my head a few times with my denture because it was in so good. And he said, in all honesty, if you're comfortable and you're not in pain, you're not discomfortable, and it's staying this well, we might as well go ahead and just leave the soft reline as it is right now, and we'll do the hard reline at a later time. So, I didn't get another soft reline. Um, I did end up setting a date for my hard reline, and that's going to be in um, April. Um, fun thing is that my son's birth date is in April, and my biggest thing was, well, I want my fangs back, before my son's birthday. I want to be able to smile. This is actually going to be the first year with my son's birthday that I'm going to have this done. So super excited about taking those pictures and being in the moment with him like that. Um, but yeah, so for the most part that what was what the appointment was regarding and then I also mentioned I have a few more bone chips on the inside of my bottom jaw and he took a look and my dentist had said that because I'm younger I may just have denser bone and that may play a part in some of the pain that I'm feeling and discomfort when it comes to more of that bone coming to the surface and he mentioned that that can be expected for at least a few months after extraction day. And when I asked him, I said, okay, isn't it possible that I could be experiencing for this for maybe the next year? 
since my extraction and he said that would be a little bit extreme um maybe there are some cases but that shouldn't be um that's not really typical so that was my dentist's professional input on that um, so hopefully I'm at the tail end then of getting these bone spurs and bone chips he then also said that there's not much they can do in the sense of helping get them out or exposed or anything it's just simply something that my body has to work out and everybody's body is going to reject everything differently and this is just where I'm at so um, other than that I am now four months and two days since my e-day and I'm at a point where I've adapted to my dentures as though they are my teeth I don't really know any other way of life anymore it's very hard to look back on the videos I did in the beginning and like I can see the screenshots and the videos that I took where I'm showing what I was working with before my denture journey and the tooth coming out the discoloration the everything and it feels like it's more and more of a distant bad memory or a bad chapter or just a bad dream so I mean that for me is a good thing I love the way that I've adapted so far I love that I love wearing my dentures and I feel like they should have been there all along and it was actually a piece of me that I had to go seek out find and obtain and I wouldn't really have it any other way um, I've even gotten to a point where at work I was speaking with a client and I don't remember we were talking about age he was an older gentleman and he said something along the lines of when you get to be my age something 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 it was irrelevant but he said when you get to my age and I chuckled because I said age really has nothing to do with anything and I mean in all reality there's so many different variables that come into play when it comes to everybody's lives I feel like age is just irrelevant and I explained I'm 28 years old and I wear full dentures so for me I mean I feel like anything is possible for anybody I mean anything can happen to anyone regardless of your age and he looked at me and he was like do you now and I said yeah I wear full dentures and he saw the the break the break line where the denture stops and my true gums end and he was like wow I had no idea and I told him honestly it's you know it's different for everybody and you'd be surprised how many people do have that and he said actually my wife has been talking about getting dentures for some time now and she needs them and he went to great lengths to explain how her life has been up to now how she had always grown up in a family that struggled with dental issues and things like that and I really did relate because I came from that same kind of a situation except that with me I was just simply born with the odds of not having enamel but I knew what it was like to grow up like that and grow up in that situation and I told him I was like I have a YouTube channel and if you and your wife are comfortable watching YouTube and things like that I'm more than happy to write down the name of it and give that to you so that you guys can watch it when you feel and I hope that that gives her some reassurance and some comfort um, but otherwise I would start looking at different support groups if she has a Facebook and things like that and I just thought it was a very refreshing conversation to have um, I believe I told you guys about that gentleman I saw at the church when I was on my way out with my son and it's honestly just so perspective changing it's it really does change the way you say things and 
approach different situations, I feel like it's actually heightened my compassion and understanding for other people. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's been such a positive impact on my mental status. It's, it was a very heavy thing to carry initially. But once you get past that, you really do get past that. And you feel unstoppable, like I've said in other videos. Um, my son is singing, <laughs> if you can hear him. Um, something else that I also had noticed is I have started to somewhat slip back into old habits when it comes to um, my teeth. And some of you might know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's the things like the mannerisms where you'll, when you're talking, you'll kind of cover your mouth. You'll cover your mouth or um, you talk with your lips a little more closed and tight-lipped more often um, to the point of almost mumbling. And I don't know, just getting a little self-conscious where I work, we went under a temporary um, mandatory mask for all staff members and team members, um, but not our customers and clients. And I found myself wanting to wear the mask because for some reason a part of me almost thought that I did have that situation. I'm not really sure. It wasn't really... It wasn't a forefront thought. It was just something I caught myself like, why am I still wearing my mask? Like, I don't need this. Um, once it was lifted, I was still wearing it. So I thought that was kind of interesting um, to realize. And the gentleman that I'm now talking to or dating, um, he's even caught it because he'll ask randomly, hey, are you okay? Is your mouth hurting? Like, because I'll sit and kind of grab at my mouth or my jaw and I'll touch my face. And I no, I just for some reason sometimes I slip back into those habits and I'm not sure why. I'm so proud of everything. All I want to do is show them off, but... It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to keep working on that and catching it as I go because I am, I'm openly and outwardly proud. So I really don't want myself to keep going back to those habits. Um, one more thing too that I also forgot we took care of during my appointment today was buffing a tooth out. So I noticed a while back that there was almost like a hair kind of feeling on my bottom tooth. And I thought nothing of it. A couple of days went by and I don't know, I was like, maybe I got it and I just didn't see, see the hair or whatever it was, piece of food. I don't know. So a couple of days go by and I feel it again. And this time it's like actually kind of poking my lip. Not hard. It wasn't painful, but I felt it. So finally, I like lifted it just a little bit with my tongue and lip. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the mirror and see what this is and not move it. So I went and I looked and sure enough, it was like a clear milk white piece of something. So I finally grabbed it and pulled it off. But the tension against me pulling it told me that that was probably a piece of this bottom tooth right here, that front one. So when I went to my dentist, I mentioned it. I was like, hey, is there anything we can do? Like, this sucks. Like, my tooth chipped or whatever you call it, slivered. And at first he looked, he was like, I'm sorry, I don't think I see what you're talking about. Can you point it out? So I kept moving it in the light, and I was like, honestly, it's something I can feel with my nail. You can't really see it, but I can feel it's a rough spot. And then at some point when I tilted it again, he was like, oh, I see it. Give it to me. So I gave it to him, and he took the little... Dzz, 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 <laughs> and went across it like a couple times, and that was that. So 
if you somehow manage to chip or sliver your tooth like I did, just take it to your dentist and have them buff it out apparently is what is what they do. So I thought that was interesting. Otherwise, I'm over the moon that this isn't cutting anymore. My dentist, it was kind of funny. He uh, put his finger in, kind of swiped, and like was feeling and looked, and he was like, oh, I bet that's painful. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> so he could see where it is. I can still feel it. It might be a scar at this point, or I don't know. I've never actually like looked, but I can still feel it. Um, I'm just happy that it's no longer going to hurt, at least. So I'm hoping that with the right adhesives and stuff now, I'm going to start working on really chewing food and biting into things and see how that goes. The only other thing that was kind of next to start working on is that my bottom denture flips the two back parts flip forward a little bit when I try to eat or bite into something so that's going to be my next thing to work on now that this isn't causing pain so stay tuned um, to be continued later <laughs> um, but I am super grateful for you and I love seeing you guys here so I just wanted to take at least a minute to say thank you for being here, for subscribing, checking in, leaving comments, having conversation, um, sharing your personal stories and experiences because not everybody's stories are going to be the same and I even recently actually had someone comment who was talking about how they have implants, which I don't. So to learn more about that kind of stuff is just really interesting for me. Um, if there are other topics that you guys would want to hear, if you want me to discuss a little bit about other YouTube channels that I covered and maybe a little bit of what they do, just let me know in the comments. Um, we can talk makeup, we can talk whatever you guys want. Um, at this, I, I just kind of think of things off the top of my head and hope for the best right now. So if you guys have any ideas or questions or things you would want to see in a video, go ahead and leave a comment. If you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more from me in the future, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.